Hey guys, it's Angela and for today's video, I am determined to get rid of this pink in my hair so I am going to do another bleach bath. I have tried two different types of color strippers and neither one has worked and in talking with different hairstylists they believe that the color stripper would have maximally removed what I have already removed with my previous um, bleach bath can't talk so um, I got prepared I got everything that I need I'm going to show you guys everything that I'm going to use so I have just so you know I've already applied coconut oil to my hair that is why my hair looks wet so this is the coconut oil that I got I bought it at Sally's it's called the proclaim or proclaim professional care coconut oil and I ended up using about half the tub in my hair so um, I wanted to make sure that it was fully saturated I wanted to make sure that um, it protected my hair and hopefully we can prevent breakage but I'm done with the pink I need it gone um, let me show you what else I got so I still have some of the salon care blue flash blue bleach um, the powder lightener um, I have my salon care 30 volume developer I have gloves today, which I didn't have for my last video, and oh my god, let me tell you, that developer, and I used the 20 volume, it like dried out my nails so severely that my fingertips hurt so bad for like 48 hours. I've been using uh, jojoba oil on my nails, and it's finally back to normal where I am no longer in pain. Yeah, so, um, moving right along. I also have uh, off-brand dandruff shampoo because I heard this works better as far as hair removal so I'm going to use that for the bleach bath and uh, just for precautionary reasons I got this deep treatment uh, it's called the APH Effigy I guess it's pronounced um, but it's a two-step protein treatment for your hair so once I have it all bleached out, I am going to do this step tonight. I'm going to do step one and then step two is a deep conditioner. I'm going to leave that on probably overnight if I can figure out how to wrap up my hair without um, getting it all over my pillow and being still being able to sleep. So if I figure that out, I'll leave it on. If not, I'll leave it on as late as I can and then I'll wash it out before I go to bed. Um, I also picked up a wide tooth comb and this is infused with coconut oil um, and I also got a new toner this is from Wella this is the T10 pale blonde so hopefully um, I don't kill my uh, roots I'm hoping the bleach bath will get the little bit of rootage that I have going on it's not much so I think with the heat of my scalp it should all turn I'm gonna do equal parts powder developer and shampoo so it's gonna be a little bit stronger I'm hoping that it will be strong enough to finally get rid of all this pink in my hair and get the roots without absolutely destroying my hair so try to find a happy medium here all right so I have my scale to make sure that I have equal parts of everything I'm not going to show you the angle this time because it makes it really hard for me to see the number that I'm working with so we are in grams let's see let's just add some bleach powder in there we're probably gonna do like one and a half scoops maybe two. yeah one and a half scoops I'll aim for about 50 grams let's do that okay, so we're gonna do 50 grams of developer and I'm going to use my 30 volume so let's bring that up to 100 and now we're going to do 50 grams of the shampoo so up to 150 okay I'm going to go ahead and mix all of this together with my little brush here is what the concoction looks like right now so let's go ahead and give it a good mix I'm just I'm done I'm done trying everything I know I didn't try aspirin but honestly I've watched so many videos of people using aspirin and the best achieved lift that I have seen is basically what I have in my hair so from like a bright color to this using aspirin um, and I don't have you know just the patience anymore I have been trying to see if I can let it fade out on its own I have tried alternatives to bleach 
um, I tried the BTZ Color Lift. I tried the Ion Color Brilliance um, Hair remo Color Remover. And neither one of them worked. They didn't do absolutely anything. And I honestly believe it's because the maximum amount of lift that I could have gotten with products like that, I already achieved with my previous bleach bath. So, hopefully, I don't kill my scalp this time around. And we can get this done correctly. Alright, so I don't know if I have enough product, but I'll do like 25 of each if I run out. Okay, so here is what it looks like. It is all mixed up and ready to go. I don't want to spill it. Okay, so I'm going to part my hair. Let me go ahead and put gloves on because I, I already have coconut oil in there and I don't want to get coconut oil all over my hands because it'll make getting the gloves on later on very difficult. Much more difficult, yes. Okay. I already had most everything here. Um, I already had the toner. I had the bleach. I had the developer. I just had to run out and get um, the comb, the deep conditioning treatment, the coconut oil, and the gloves. So, all right, let me move my scale out of the way. I don't need that anymore. And let's go ahead and part my hair. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is, of course, start in the back, like I always do, because the back has the most amount of color in it. At least with the coconut oil, it kind of makes it easier to separate and keep separated. I did get these new clips. So they're really, really hard to put on when your fingers are slippery though. Okay, that's done. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna start with the back half, just the way it is. I think it'll be easier to work with. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start saturating my hair. I'm not going to be skimpy because if I need to mix more I can. And I'm just going to start where the color is and then once all the ends are done then I'll go in and touch up my roots. Because I don't want to leave bleach on my hair, on my roots for a long time like I did the last time and like fried my scalp. That was the worst ever. Like the most agony. I think I have too much hair here. Hold on. Let me split that out of the way. There we go. We'll do the smaller sections. So I'm really, really trying to just... Ooh, it's a little more runny than my average bleach. So it's like dripping on my leg. Okay, let's go ahead and get the ends. I'm just over this pink. I'm over it. I want it gone. I'm trying not to get it on the bleached part that does not have pink in it. And I'm just hoping this is a lot more effective than everything else I've tried. So, if I do get it up a little bit higher, I'm okay with that because I feel like the coconut oil is going to help protect my hair. And it's still a little bit very yellow right there, so it could withstand a little bit more bleach on it. Okay, so I'm just going to proceed this process. You guys have seen me do this a million times. I'm not really going to change anything to my technique, with the exception of the coconut oil, which I didn't even film. <laughs> so I'm going to let you guys go, just to save battery power. That's why I didn't film the um, the bleaching, uh, the coconut oil portion, because I already, um, I was charging up my battery on my camera, and I don't want the battery to die. Whoops. Man, this stuff is runny. You keep dripping it everywhere. Really, really want to saturate all the hair with the bleach bath. Alright, I'm just going to continue doing this throughout the rest of my hair and I'll come back when it's time to do my roots. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so I have applied the bleach bath all throughout my head, just on the pink. So now I'm going to go ahead and start applying it to the roots. 
So I'm just gonna start in this section that's already down and I'm not gonna put it all the way to my roots. Like all the way to my scalp because I don't want to cause breakage. But I do want, and this might be a mistake, but at least it's just bleach bath and not straight bleach. I just don't want it to sit on all my roots as long as it did in the past. Because we all know what happened then. And this is just, you know, it's the same mixture, same equal parts. I'm not adding any more bleach or anything. So even if it just lightens them a little bit, I'm okay with that. Let me come through this real quick so that I can um, separate it. There we go. I'm going to start at the top because I want my roots at the front to be the lightest they can get. And beyond there, the longest. I always miss my widow's peak, so I want to make sure I get that really well. try that again. I'm not very good at this parting game here. It's a lot harder to split it once you have the bleach on it, but it's what I gotta do, so I mean, I could just do them separately all together, but I already have the mixture here, so I'm literally just Diving in on the routage, as um, Guy Tang would say. I hope he doesn't have that trademarked. Okay. I'm just trying to think as thin of a section as I can separate. Flipping it over and starting again. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this throughout my head. The back is going to be a pain, I already know. But I'm gonna do the best I can. Try to be as thorough as I can and as quick as I can. I mainly wanna focus detail on the front because that's what everybody sees. So, all right guys, I will be back with you guys at 9.05 just to see where we are at at that time. All right, see you then. everything out the proper amount of time went out my hair felt good in the shower I was so pleased I tell you what though that coconut oil is so hard to wash out but my hair felt really good it didn't feel rubbery it didn't feel gummy and yeah I'm really excited as you can see my roots took very well but I have not seen the final result so we are gonna get to toning my hair by the way it's like 10 30 at night I don't know why I do this to myself on Saturday nights like this is my version of fun on a Saturday night I just up and decide at 8 30 at night that I'm gonna try and do my hair why not who cares if I have to stay up till midnight tomorrow Sunday I can sleep in right <sighs> anyway um, and of course while I had the bleach in my hair I made plans um, 
just a quick little update on the last video that I put up to get ready with me. Um, I recorded that about three weeks ago and uh, or two weeks ago, something like that. And um, I am talking to my ex-boyfriend again. Um, we're not 1000% back together, but kind of, sort of. Uh, working on things, making sure that I am 100% um, sure of what I feel for him before I can really say, yes, we're back together again. But we are seeing each other again and hanging out together and spending time together so that I can better decipher what my issue is. Because really, it's not him, it's me. So I know that's a typical line. But anyway, let's take a look at this hair and see what happened. Oh my God. Please, 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 please. I expect... Maybe there will be a little bit of pink, but I, I do expect this to be a lot lighter. A lot less pink, a lot more blonde. You know, so let's take a look. I know this is a process. I'm just getting very impatient, but it's been about a month since I bleached it. I bleach washed it. <sighs> There's still a lot of pink in my hair. I thought for sure this was going to do it, but clearly it did not. Um, I do like the color of the blonde, so that's good. Oh, I forgot my white tooth comb. I'll be right back. Okay, so I did clean the comb. So I'm just going to very gently comb through my hair. It's not breaking or anything. And it is a lot lighter. I will give it that. The pink parlor looks a lot darker because my hair is wet. But like I have a lot of removal back here and this is where the darkest parts were. So that makes me happy. I know it's a process and I know it's not gonna 1000% wash out. But I am definitely a lot happier with it. Holy cow, I'm almost I almost have white hair at this point, like, oh. All right, so I should have picked up the T18 toner. <sighs> okay, well, that's okay. I still got a really light one, and I think it's going to look pretty, so. We do have a little tiny bit of brassiness going in through, like, in here. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that. So we're going to mix up our toner. We're gonna put, I believe this has 1.4 ounces of liquid. Let me just put it on the scale to make sure because sometimes it's not 100%. Okay, let me get it out of the bottle. This is the Willa T10 Pale Blonde. So here is the bottle and we are zeroed out in ounces. And there is exactly 1.4 ounces. Yay! Okay, so I need 2.8 ounces of 20 volume developer to mix with this. Let's zero it out. All right, 2.4. 2.8, sorry. 2.8. The last time I bleached my hair, I wasn't able to tone it because I had given myself a chemical burn on my scalp. This time, I'm happy to report that my scalp feels really good. So, I did not burn it this time. Yay. Okay, let's put the cap on. And let's go ahead and give it a shake. Holy cow, my, my hair is like almost white. Like, if I wanted to tone it with a T18, the white platinum, I probably could. Well, not. I don't want to do that until this pink is gone, though. So... I do want to have platinum hair though at some point. I think that would be fun. And I haven't killed my hair yet, so that's always good news. Maybe this toner will tone down a little bit more of the pink, I hope. It did last time. It made it from like a um, bright, bright, bright pink like this to like more of a muted bubblegum pink. So hopefully something similar happens. All right, so there is my toner. And let's go ahead and start toning my hair.
guys, so I just finished uh, washing and deep conditioning my hair. I just used my regular deep conditioner, not this stuff. I'll do this stuff tomorrow. Um, but let's see what happened. I did tone it. Um, Uh-oh. Me thinks I made my hair purple. Yep, 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 yep. I'm pretty sure I made my hair like a gray tone purple with little kisses of pink throughout. <laughs> it's like gray. Okay, um, it's kind of hard to judge the color right now. I may have left the toner on too long. I kind of had an ink link at the 15 minute mark that I need to um, take it off, but I didn't. I didn't listen to myself. And now I have really great toned, purple toned hair. Let me, let me blow dry it so I can see the final color and I'll be right back. All right, so. It's not 100% dry yet, but it's not as purple as I thought it was going to be. It's more like a grayish toned blonde, which I really like. There's a lot less pink than I thought there was going to be, so that makes me super happy. I mean, it's just a little hint of pink, and I can all the pink from down here that was super bright is gone. I think this side might still have a little bit more. Let's see. Yeah, this side still has a little bit more to it left. Um, that's probably the brightest I have in all of my head. But guys, I am closer than ever, closer than ever than I ever thought I would be. I'm happy with it. What do you guys think? What do you think of the hair? Okay, let me zoom you in so you guys can see real good. So, it's not 100% dry. I just blow dried it a little bit. It's still really wet back here. But what do you think of the color? The toning came up pretty even. I'm happy with it. Because last time I didn't do such a good job. But it's like really not that dry in the back right now. <laughs> But I'm I'm okay with it. I can live with that. It's not purple. It's actually really pretty. It's not perfect. But it zoom out. But it didn't fall out either, so I I'm happy. Whew. I survived once again the trials and tribulations of bleaching my hair. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also don't forget to follow me on social media. I am Angela That Babe on Instagram. And I am YouTube That Babe on Twitter and Snapchat. I love you guys so much. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.